All right, welcome back to the channel guys it's oscar here again and i know it's been a little while but um i've been kind of busy with school and work but finally gonna get back into making videos and uh today we're gonna be talking about swapping the alternator on uh let's say if you have a procharge gto if or if you're gonna be swapping the alternator on a procharge gto this is um kind of gonna show you how to do it um i didn't make like a full-on video doing it so um, I have these pictures that I took kind of going step by step about what we did, what we did. and uh, just to FYI before this starts, we went ahead and replaced the original GTO alternator with a Caprice alternator. So um, obviously Caprice, I'm pretty sure they have an LS2 or some type of LS, so it's direct uh, fit and uh, it's a little bit more uh, powerful as the charging side and i think it'll last a little bit longer and the whole reason we had to swap the alternator was prior to so this was last weekend when we swapped it that battery was wasn't really charging some days it would start first try some days it wouldn't start and then uh the week of the weekend that we swapped the alternator the dash lights and the gauges kept going dead and going on and off so um that led to that so um here we go this i, I guess you could see my mouse i got my mouse uh, pro charger here obviously this is how it's going to look like maybe you don't have the plastic little uh i don't know what to call this but maybe you don't have this on but we do so we're going to the next picture just another picture side view and another one kind of just showing you still the same side view but all right so here's the alternate here's the caprice uh uh swapped same size as the stock original gto one but uh just like I said, just a little bit more powerful and it directly bolts on with no problem at all. Um, step one, kind of take the plastic off if you don't have it. And then it's just another side view picture. Um, take the, uh, we have our intake or the air filter right here. So obviously we took that off. Uh, my dad had moved the original power steering fluid reservoir kind of holder from right here where this bracket is. He made his own little custom bracket over here. So obviously take the air filter off. We had to remove this so we could get down there to the uh, hose clamp. Then um, obviously if you have a pro charger, this is how you loosen and uh, tighten the belt or the tensioner right here. So there's a 15 mil nut right here and another 15 mil nut that goes on to here so you're going to want to loosen those get the belt off kind of a sharper picture so you, there's that where the one nut goes obviously we took that off fully and then here's the other nut nut that's like the locking nut so i'll take those two off get the bolt or the belt taken off then um, just a few pictures and then Okay, so here's the other thing. So <clears throat> you have these, uh, I guess they're like bracing. I don't, I don't know what to call them, but they basically hold the, or like support the upper part over here. So you're going to want to take uh, those off. It's two pieces, three bolts. Uh, I can't remember exact size of the Allen key, but it is Allen key. Uh, three bolts. <clears throat> One goes through here and then the other two go through there. And then that leaves that space open. Then we obviously took the intake off. D don't have to take this lower piping off, just the top piping that goes into the throttle body. Cause you're gonna want access to the tensioner right here to get the belt off. And then you're gonna kind of want all this space over here. Then uh, take the pro charger off. After you take those three bolts out, there is a little nut that's bolted on to um, this alternator bracket right here. And um, you're gonna be wanna, wanna be really careful with it because I mean, it's a, it's a small nut, but it kind of flew off when I took it off. So it fell into the oil or the, the skid plate. So I had to go down and get that. But uh, let's say if you're using like magnetic tools or something like that, uh, shouldn't be an issue. Then pro charger off. Obviously, you're going to want to loosen this hose clamp so you can get it off of this intercooler piping right here. And just another picture. Don't mind how dirty it is. But um, so here's the alternator. Here's the belt. Then we took the fans out just so we can get also more clearance in there. Uh, 
we swapped the original fans. I think this is our second or third set of fans. So these are both small, uh, kind of high flow CPM fans. They're working pretty well. Then obviously there's the protruder. Looks a little bit beat up because it is, uh, how old is it? I think it's 14 or 13 years old now that it's been in the car. So it's been in there for a while. Obviously has its little wear and tear, but still runs perfectly, works fine. No shaft play or anything like that, but good on there. Then there's the alternator and here's where the bottom half, the uh, pro charger bracket that I was talking to that nut goes, the nut and the bracket go onto here. You basically only hit, I'd say two or three threads or something like that for the nut to uh, tighten onto there. So uh, like I said, if you're using magnetic tools, you should be able and not have any issue of it dropping, but be careful on that one. And then there's the alternator. So uh, this is midway taking it off. So um, let me see if there's a picture. Okay. So this pulley right here, you're going to want to take that off. Um, so you can get the, the bracket off. So take the pulley off that opens up this spot. The pulley is connected to the bracket that holds the alternator in place. And then there's a bolt <clears throat> right here, a bolt down here. I, if I remember right, they're all 15. And then there was one, on the back side of the alternator right here. So there's three bolts and then there's the ground. So there's a, a nut that holds the ground onto there. And then you just basically pull it out. So here's the old one compared to the new one. Here's all the tools we've been using, kind of a little bit of everything, but um, old one, like I said, old one, new one. And there's the ground wire. And then there's also a ignition plug on the left side or ignition power plug on the left side. You just squeeze the two ends and just pull that off. It'll come off. Then here's the open space. Obviously you can see the belts off. Um, no alternator down there. We ended up taking the bottom uh, intercooler piping that connected to the protractor off just because it gave us a little bit more room. It was kind of in the way. And here's the bracket. So here's where the pulley goes to that I was talking to, uh, talking about. Then there's the one bolt here, one bolt here, and then a smaller bolt that goes right here. And here's me kind of working with the air tools. See, it's kind of a little bit cramped, but a uh, new alternator is now in. So like I said, you have the one, two bolts, third bolt on the back, get the ground wire onto their ignition or the power plug put back in and then just tighten everything down. Um, I found the easier way to put everything back was if you um, kind of put the first two on the front and then start putting the back one. The back one uh, was a little bit of a pain in the butt to get aligned. But, uh, or I think if you put the back one in first and then you start doing the front two and then just kind of tighten everything slowly, it'll uh, be easier to put in. Obviously, uh, you wanna use a little bit of thread locker as well. Um, <clears throat> we're using blue one, so it's not super super uh, tough where it won't get stuck or anything like that. Um, then another picture, you can see how kind of tight it is. You barely have room, especially with the supercharger bracket and everything like that kind of pulls everything a little bit more forward, but that's why we took the protractor out. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to get to the alternator itself. And there's just another picture. I think this is where I was tightening the back and there's the alternator now in. Um, oh, with that, there's this little piece right here I can't remember if this is actually like a piece that comes with the pro charger or it's stock on there. I think it comes with the pro charger because otherwise it would be kind of flying around. But uh, this is the spacer that lets the uh, bracket bolt onto there. So 
you're gonna want to take that off before you take the whole bracket that holds the alternator and everything and then obviously you're gonna want to tighten everything down finally plug the power cable back and put the ground back on and then you're gonna want to put the belt back like it should be and just another picture here's the belt number that is for the alternator and the tensioner and everything like that water pump 4060775 if I remember right it was a continental belt as well so um, then this is putting the protractor back in put the intercooler piping back on we found it easier if you get this side get this side the uh, intercooler piping put around the the inlet of the protractor first and then <clears throat> kind of work your way to the bracket side you're going to want to get the nut put on first that'll hold the bottom piece and then you're going to want to start putting these uh, bolts to the, the motor bracket then you're going to want to get your nuts and the, these nuts tightened well not all the way tight because you need to put the belt on but here you go you have these allen key bolts put on and not sure what this picture is but oh this is where the fans got put back in and then you're going to want to put your belt back on and make sure it's not too tight not too loose and so yeah after you get all the belts put back on and make sure that the protractor belt isn't too tight or too loose i'm gonna want to just turn the car on make sure power comes on and then start up make sure there's um no issues but then you should be good to go so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video kind of got a little bit of a kind of like how to swap the alternator if you do have a protractor on your car but hope you guys enjoyed comment down below if this helped any of you guys or uh if there's anything else you guys might want to see kind of what to do on a gto later in the future but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and comment down below what you thought. And it's been Oscar, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.